Mr. McFall presents Science You Can Do in Your Home. Please be advised, Mr. McFall is a trained professional. Make sure you follow all safety precautions before attempting the experiment shown in this video. Hi everyone, I hope you are enjoying these science at home videos and I hope you're keeping well. I know that it can be um, pretty difficult being stuck inside, but if you can find some of these materials, then you too can do science at home. For this one, uh, you're going to need an empty plastic ball. Um, I'm gonna use this Coke ball, a ping pong ball, and uh, a pair of scissors. Um, so we're going to uh, cut off the top of this. Um, so I'm gonna just cut off around where the label stops there. Um, and then we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so here is a little challenge you can do with uh, your family at home. You get a ping pong ball and you ask them, can they blow it off your hand? And of course, that's quite easy. Ping pong balls have very little mass, so therefore they have very little inertia. So it takes a small amount of force to blow it off your hand. Okay. Now you take the ping pong ball and you place it inside your cutoff ball. And here's the rules. Blowing through the bottom of the ball, can they remove the ball from the ball? All right, and they have to do it directly from below like this. And uh, they're not allowed to tilt it or anything like that. So that's the challenge. Now, obviously, there could be uh, a little bit of uh, transmission and infection control going on here. So what you want to do is make a little OK symbol with your hand. That OK symbol then goes round the bottom so that you are just blowing up against your own hand. Also wipe down the uh, ball after every use. So here we go, I'm gonna give it a go and let's see how we get on. And you'll find that no matter how hard you blow, it is actually impossible to remove the ball from the ball. So what's happening here? What's going on with the ping pong ball can be explained by Bernoulli's principle and something called the Magnus effect. Well, Bernoulli's theorem states that fluid pressure decreases when the speed of the fluid increases. And you might have remembered from my very first video with the floating tea bag that liquids and gases are fluids because the particles in them can flow. So when the speed of those particles increases, the pressure of that fluid decreases. And this is what allows uh, footballers to curve balls or a table tennis player to curve their shot. So let's take a look at this uh, famous free kick from Roberto Carlos. You can see that the ball starts going in one direction and then curves into the net. This is the Magnus effect and it's because as the ball moves through the air it's actually causing the air on one side of it to spin uh, faster than the other side. And so well, let's take a look at what that air current would look like. So this is an air tunnel, and you can see the smoke lines uh, around the spinning cylinder. And as it spins, you can see the uh, faster air around the bottom. That faster air with the blue arrow uh, causes lower pressure, and therefore the cylinder is forced downwards. This is what's happening whenever we're blowing air upwards in the ball. As the ball spins, the faster flow of air around the bottom creates lower pressure. And so you've got slow air around the top, fast air around the bottom. That lower pressure of that faster air means that the ball is actually forced downwards. So no matter how hard you blow, that ball is not coming out of the cup. That's it for this episode. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and stay tuned for more science experiments that you can do at home.